Hi everybody, welcome to the second lesson of Learn Revit API course for beginners. By the end of this video, you will all create your own custom extension with PyRevit that would look like this. There are a lot of buttons, resources, code samples, and it's because we will use my EF PyRevit starter kit, which is free, and it includes everything you need to get started. It's also super easy to create, and it won't take longer than two minutes. And you will be able to customize everything inside of it because it's just a template. But before we begin, we should also install PyRevit extension. It's free and very simple to do. Just open the browser and search for PyRevit GitHub. In here, either look for the releases page, or you can also look for the repository itself, which is here, PyRevit Labs, PyRevit. In here, we need to scroll down, and on the right side, you will see right here, uh, releases. Just click on that, and you can download the latest release. This is the version at the moment of the recording, and if I'm gonna scroll down, in here you can see the installer. I'm gonna click on that one to download. Also, you can scroll all the way down to the assets and you'll find even more installers right here. This is the usual one with which we've just downloaded, but also you'll find that there is a CLI version, which is used for the terminal and it stands for command line interface. It's used to use PyRevit via the console and this way you can set it up in multiple places and so on. Majority of you wouldn't need it, so just download the regular version. Once you've downloaded it, click on it and just follow the installer as normal. Just click on next, accept the agreement, click on next, and also pay attention to where you install it. This is the most common place where it's gonna be installed and it will be in your app data roaming PyRevit masters folder. But sometimes for some reason it's installed in other cases. Then click on next and in my case, I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna reinstall it again. But in your case, just follow the installer until you have PyRevit installed. Also a little disclaimer, at the moment of the recording, PyRevit does not support Revit 2025 because it's still a work in progress. The development team shows a great progress and hopefully they will release an update very soon so we can also use it in 2025. And this is because Revit has migrated from .NET Framework 4.8 to .NET Framework 8, I think. But it's irrelevant, we just have to wait and they will provide us a new installer. Alright, and finally, now let's set the timer to 2 minutes and we're gonna create your own custom PyRevit extension. But for that, we need to download EF PyRevit Starter Kit. To do that, if you watch on my course platform, just scroll down under the video and there's gonna be a link where you can download it. Or you can go to my website, which is learnrateapi.com slash pyrevit starter kit. Enter your email here and then you're gonna receive an email with a download link. In here, I will also ask what you're gonna call your PyRevit extension and I would appreciate if you share the name. And now, the drum roll please, you can download the PyRevit Starter Kit right here. Click here to download it. Also, in this email, you'll find an installation guide on how it works, what's inside, where to download PyRevit and all of that. But all you have to know really is it's all about the folder structure. Because inside this PyRevit Starter Kit, you're gonna find this folder structure, where you have your dot extension, dot tab, dot panel, dot push button. And PyRevit uses this naming to know which folder is what. But you're gonna see this in a moment. Now, Let's open the zip file which you've just downloaded. Inside you will see there is readme file and efparade starter kit. I'm gonna copy that one and then we're gonna go to the app data or any other location on your computer. Just make sure it's safe that you don't delete it one day. Now I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it my pyravit extension. You can call it this folder anything you want. And also don't overstress where you place it because you can just take your folder structure, move it to any other location and it's gonna work just fine, so don't worry. All right, we have the starter kit, now we need to do two things. First of all, as you can see in the image in Revit, we need to rename blue folders, which is that extension and that tab. And all you have to know is that you can write whatever you want before, but this that extension should stay exactly like it is. So I'm gonna write learn rate API that extension, and I'm gonna also do the same inside for the that tab. Right here, I'm gonna write learn Revit API. All right, this was the first step and it was very simple. We don't need to do anything else inside of it yet. So we're gonna go outside where we placed it. I'm gonna copy the path because now we need to point PyRevit to this path so it knows from where to load our extension. Now we're gonna go to Revit and in here, click on PyRevit tab. Then in here in the pull down menu, you're gonna find settings. Click on this one. And on the bottom, you'll see that you have some custom extension directories. I'm gonna click on add folder and put this path right here. And listen, make sure you don't select that extension folder itself. This is gonna be wrong if you have that extension in the path, it should be one folder outside. Now I'm gonna select the folder and save settings and reload. 
And now you need to wait for about 10 seconds and then you're gonna see your own private extension appear right there. In my case, I can see Learn Rate API appeared. And if I'm gonna open it, this is what I can see inside of it. I can click on the about button and you will see congratulations you've just created your own extension with pyrate starter kit you are a pyrate developer now it would also mean a lot to me if you would click here to leave a testimonial about the starter kit so i know how valuable it is to you and now listen we're gonna finish with this lesson and i'm gonna explain you everything inside of it in the next lesson because there's really a lot of resources the placeholder panels there's some links to the learn rate api resources and so on and you should really know more about it so we can get the most out of it and listen lastly i want to leave a little homework for you i just want you to share the name of your extension and what kind of tools are you going to create let others know in the comments or in the community depending where you watch this course and in the next lesson we're gonna dive deep and i'll show you all the cool things inside of this pyre starter kit and how they will save a lot of time for you there are a lot of code examples, templates, resources, and you should definitely check them out. So I will see you soon where I'm going to explain it.